One thing that happened here, uh, Kehinde, um, this is this uh, producer of a West End show, Slave Play, uh, which features a Games of Thrones star, Kit Harrington, among the cast. It runs from end of June to end of September at the Noel Coward Theatre and will have blackout events confirmed uh, to be taking place on two of those nights. This is where two performances will be aimed at an all-black identifying audience that is free from the white gaze. And it follows a similar thing on Broadway in 2019. Mm -hmm. Now, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's official spokesman says, restricting audiences on the basis of race would be wrong and divisive. Uh, I mean, my take on this was, I was trying to imagine if you had an all-white cast <laughs> and you said, right, we're going to have an all-white identifying audience free from the black gaze, you would go absolutely well, it wouldn't be the same. apoplectic it, with race. It clearly wouldn't be the same. Why um, wouldn't it be the same? Because the problem here is if you actually, <laughs> if you go to some of these shows, you will find there is an all-white audience. If, unfortunately, because of... That, before he even starts, that is bullshit. Yes, there might be an all-white audience, but it's only because black people choose not to go there. That is it. That is the only reason in these theatres in London and places like that, you don't see black people there because they choose not to go. But you will see some there, but only a few. And the fact that, you know, they, they think that they can put on an all-black show and not think that's racist towards white people is absolutely disgusting. Like Pierce Morgan said, if it was an all-white show and no blacks allowed, they would go ballistic. But as soon as it's on the other foot, they find an excuse to say, no, it's not racist. Do to others as you want done to yourself. Don't be a hypocrite. And this is exactly what this guy's being right now, a hypocrite. The way it works, some of these places, they are almost exclusively white. And so but what just, this is dealing just with... Just advertising it no, in that way, so, so you would, see, you would no, no, deem no. it extremely so, racist and offensive. So there is a problem that you have almost all white audiences, and it doesn't feel like a safe space for black audience members or cast members. And so what you're saying is trying to address this problem, let's have an all-black space. So when you go to so the theatre, if you see not, white... No problem of To be clear, when you go to the theatre and you see white people there, you don't feel safe? No, when it's... When, I promise you, you go to a theatre and it's all-black people, you'll feel away. I promise you. 100% No, we won't. Have you, have you ever been into a theatre and it's all-black? I've been to concerts. <laughs> I've been to rap concerts in America where I've been one of the few white people. Yeah, it's different. So that's absolutely fine, thanks. The point is, it's different. When you go... It is, I'm, I do, it's different for me. When I go into these places, it's different. It doesn't feel comfortable. But just it to make... It, so in answer to my question, though... Bullshit. This is coming from the kid that was the only black kid in school. I was the only black kid in school. Aside me and one other lass who was in my year. I'm not going to say her name, but shout out to her if you ever watch this video. But with were two. I was the only black boy in school. She was a girl. And the fact that I was the only black kid in school did not make me feel like the school was racist at all. It's a load of rubbish, man. It's a load of rubbish. Like Pierce Morgan said, if he goes to a black concert, he's one of the only white guys there, but he don't feel like it's a racist place. It's rubbish. I'm telling you, this is just not true, the fact that this stigma on the UK that it's racist. Yes, you get your odd few racist people out there, but let me tell you something, in my, from my perspective, the, 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 the cultures of colour are more racist than white people. It's like white people can't say nothing about someone's skin colour, I can't make any joke, but yet, on the opposite end, they can say things about white people and it just get laughter or let go. No police is going to get involved for someone calling someone a white, whatever. But on the other on the other side, it's totally different. And it's just complete double standards. Like, what he's, what he's talking about now is absolute bullcrap. If there was an all-white identifying audience billed as the marketing this that was free from the black gaze, you would say that was racist? Because it would be racist. This is to address a specific problem. Oh. That is the, the, in the cultural centre, there is all the white only places. Words so how, how do you address that? Right. The black race race choose not to, to go there. You're just minimising the importance of that conversation again. You're just, being, you're just <laughs> making it a hypocritical conversation to cause an argument. Or am I exposing a double standard? No, there isn't a double standard. I'm actually exposing one these, the hypocrisy. One of these groups is a minority and one isn't. And you always bang on... And I hate to bring this in because I don't want to have a debate about it, but you always bring in safe spaces for women, which I completely agree with. Um, and you talk about how important that is, but then suddenly when there's a safe space for black people, you've got an issue with it. So what's going on I there? I don't understand some, why some theater, double standards there. The theatre is not no, a unsafe space. That, 
there's some double standards. Sorry, in that. you're making out that somehow black people can't go to the theatre. For fear of no, what? but we're having a conversation about safe spaces, and the idea is that by doing a blackout event, it will feel safer for that community to talk. So what if about I want to have issues. a whiteout event? They all are white out. Well, I mean, you can point. join the Ku Klux Klan. No, they're not white out events. They're not white out events. They're events that white people go to where anyone from any skin colour background can go there. What you're what the what you're encouraging is a blackout event where if a white person goes up to the door, they will not be allowed to go in because of their skin colour. That is not the same. It is not the same. If you want, Piers. <laughs> ah, you're more than welcome. So, so if it's a white out Bingo. event, it's Ku Klux Klan, <laughs> right? Who are the most racist group in history? I got it. No, so one no, way, no. one way, if it's white out. No, Ku Klux Klan. The point is, if it's it, blackout, absolutely fine. Is. The point is, it's already white you see out. how ridiculous no, it sounds? The point you is, see how ridiculous you sound. Is. Go to, go just to bring in thing. Amala, the voice of common sense. Head. Amala, I mean, just hearing these two, honestly, trying to work out in their brains, very slowly, it seems to me, the ridiculous <laughs> double standard <laughs> no, of what they're saying. It's you must be good. laughing, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, I, I'm laughing. I'm shaking my head. To me, this is absolutely ridiculous. It is the one of the most blatantly racist things I've seen in, in quite some time. I agree. And it's quite literally demeaning to black people. How insulting that you would say to black people that they don't feel safe in a space because there are fellow white people there and they need to be safe from the white gaze. And how racist it is to white people mm. to exclude them from being able to enjoy something like the theater. This is very reminiscent of the Jim Crow South that oh, we experienced oh in America, where you had white and and colored water fountains. This is the very same reality that we are now ushering in, even though we made it to an, a time of progress where this was no longer an issue. We are inviting it back. It is racist. It is, it not is the wrong. Same. In any way, shape, or form, is this the same as Jim Crow? It's, what you actually have, what you actually same. have in the minute is go to go to what go to a show in the West End. It feels like Jim Crow already. It's already a white hair. This is an then, racist way. But if white, then encourage the black people to go to the theater. Encourage the black people to go because they're not going to get turned away for being black. But on these blackout nights, the white people are. People, if white people did this, we're the KKK. You do it all the time. Okay. Yeah. And here's the problem. Here's the problem. From a queer, from a from from a queer. what about what about so a very a gay, ignorant perspective? As a gay person, KKK, it's important that I am sometimes in a space of other queer people that is mm. just queer people, so I feel safe to be myself. You exclude straight worrying. people like me. Okay. I would exclude Big, you, Piers. But if you want to go to JAY with me, I'm I've been there, mate. Let's go together. Great. But listen, my point is. We need safe spaces so that we feel safe. And actually, you're talking about it being... We right, well, if they need safe spaces, then I believe that white people should do a white out event, a safe spaces from black people, and uh, 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 an event where there's no gays allowed. You know, and if I had the money and was in the West End, I'd gladly put that on, although I'm not even... Well, I'm half white, and I'm definitely not gay, but I would, I would put on these events because it is exactly the same. And Pierce Morgan is right. And I don't agree with him on everything, but on this, is is he's bang on the money. It's double standards. And the fact that black people feel like, and gays feel like they can get insulted by, you know, just going to a theatre and there not being many black people there, saying it's racist when black people have the opportunity to go. But then saying it's definitely racist if they have a white art event, but it's not if they have a black art event. I'm repeating myself, but it's frustrating me. It's just so wrong, and this is how the society is moving backwards. And all the people really that are going to agree with having a blackout event is these, is these like you know, these people that want to blame the world for everything because of the skin color, because of the gay, because of this, because of that, and really no one gives a shit. Feel unsafe with people. me standing there. Why are there? white people not making black people feel safe? Do you safe? feel unsafe now? That is the question. Do you feel unsafe now with a straight guy opposite you? Not really, no. Do you feel unsafe with the it's white about, guys? It's, it's not about that, It's about 10 it's days away. We're all safe. We're all safe. Sat here, actually. Yes, especially with the comments. That well, after received. comparing my position to KKK. I did not compare that. I said you could join them if you wanted that. That's what I said. So, yeah, just to be clear, if it's, if it's free from the black gays, it's KKK. Free from the white gays, that's... <laughs> no, that's this is an anti... Emancipation. This right. is an anti-racist idea. This is what the whole point is to address a problem. It's actually, racism. in its that's own way, it's, it's just blatant racism. Yes, it's it racism. is. It is. Not it's excluding it's people on their skin colour. No. It's the exact opposite people, of what Martin Luther King wrong. said. But judge people by the content of their character. Ago, you were trying to exclude Meghan Markle. Oh, you can't get black. more safe than a theatre audience. You were just The idea that someone like Kahindi Andrews goes to a theatre and feels unsafe because he's a white... 
first. Yes, a minute ago, you were excluding ridiculous. Meghan Markle from being black because of her skin colour. Now you're saying that's not allowed. So Say that again? Did, you just excluded Meghan Markle for her skin colour, like, 20 minutes ago. Where? You were saying she wasn't black enough. No, no, I asked Kehinde whether he believes she's a black woman. Yeah, she could she come right? to the show. We've actually had she could come to the another she's guest. Yeah, she's allowed. We've yeah. had another guest say she thinks she's a mixed race woman, right? I think terminology matters. Right. You don't? No, I, of course I think terminology matters, but I'm just saying you are defining someone by skin colour and then a minute later... I didn't saying, actually define her skin <laughs> colour. <laughs> I didn't actually define her skin colour. Wow. I asked Kehinde and I asked Amala. They disagreed. Can I ask a question, please? What, what's the wrong with just going on a different day? You can still go. You can go on any other day. It's not... It's, it's like point, two days. The, the point, the, point is, is the problem? if anybody tried in this country or America to have a white-only audience to avoid it the black gaze, ready all happened. hell would break loose, yeah. and you know who would lead the it charge? No. You it would. Yes. You no, would it doesn't, already happen. It doesn't already you happen. You would accuse them of being racist, and school. you would say in a normal, no, virtue-signaling way, it's the Klo Klaus plan come back. Segregated and that's why you're both guilty of rank no. hypocrisy. Segregated communities, segregated schools, segregated and theaters, racism. these happen today. Yeah. That's Amala, isn't it? A voice of common sense there, on this there, panel? There, there, they're, they're guilty of racism Listen, is essentially what it is. Okay? And to Mr. Andrew's well, point, some of my best says, friends when, are white, so when, I cannot when be he racist says towards that white theaters, people. Okay, here's the issue with this way of thinking. You notice a disparity uh, amongst race and you immediately attribute it to racism. Mr. Andrew says, you know, there are theaters that sometimes you go to them and there's all white people in the audience. Now, I don't know that that is actually true, but if you attribute that to racism, that is your problem. If you feel safe or unsafe in a space that contains white people, that is your problem. I don't it think is not it's our racist. responsibility. I think economically racist. I think the reason that most of the audiences in the West End are there uh, are white is because of an economic problem. Yeah. But it's not. I, I, as a black person, have attended the theater all oh, sorry, of my not. life. Every single economics? black person that has... Every black person in the UK has the very same so uh, choice they? to go and be in the theater. Because because they even they if it was because... It. Maybe the reason why they don't is because they have different... You know, the, the different cultures. Do you know what I mean? They, they, they are different cultures. So, like, yeah, maybe like a, black, a lot of black people don't like to, to, to go to West End. But there's black people that... You know, act in the West End, work in the West End, behind the stage, at the front. Every, it's not just a white community. It's just not. It's just not the case at all. Um, and and I believe what Indy's saying is correct. And and these two clowns in Middle Ear just don't know what they're talking about economic disparity that economic disparity does not exist purely because of racism and to attribute it purely to racism is to ignore a ton of other problems that are existing within the black community so and blame white why people is it for then? it so why is it because actually you find you'll find in america as well there are hugely segregated audiences mm. for comedy for theater for why is that why is it you they're can not. literally go, yes, oh my, yes, they're right. <laughs> if you're saying this, that's, what to country segregate? do you live in? Then you cannot tell me right now. If you go see a comedy in a black community in America, mm -hmm. it's just all black people. If you can go to the, see the same thing in a white community, it's all white people. Residential segregation. Just Why because... do these things happen? So just because people tend to uh, be with other people of their similar race does not mean that those shows are segregated. To segregate something is to exclude a group of people, which is exactly what these blackout theaters are doing. Just because you happen to attend a show that is full of black people or full of white people does not mean that there is some sort of segregation so actively accident. happening. And it is a failure in your thinking. So it's yes. Just, it's just like sometimes that America is one of the most segregated countries happen. in the world. It just happens. You have these large. I'm actually going to go to the. Happens, right? Well, I go to the comedy store in Los Angeles. It's always a completely mixed race audience. I mean, this idea that everything is segregated is absurd. Nobody said everything was segregated. Never go to America. I never said everything was segregated. But I can promise you, there will be. I've been to the theatre in which are around America. I've been to mostly concerts. Promising. I've been to sports. Always extremely multicultural audiences. This I idea know. is all segregated. It's for this? the birds. This, this is what the victimhood mentality word, brings <laughs> about. You should not be I all can't use the word birds now, but I think, I think my point is... Like, because we, James Barr's offended. I think... Misogynist my, to birds. My overarching point is, do we believe in safe spaces for marginalised communities? Yes, I do, as a queer person. So I see why this is a great idea. Yeah, but you don't feel that way, oddly, about the trans debate, do you? You feel very differently about the trans debate. I don't think women no, should be excluded You think biological place. males should be allowed into place. women's spaces <laughs> without a moment's thought for <laughs> women's rights to not have that I don't happen. Think so you are a rank hypocrite. Yeah, so, so Eli, he believes that black people should have an all-blackout night 
so that they feel safe in their own space, but then don't believe that women should go in a women's locker room without some dude in there with a huge Adam's apple in a skirt and a wig. Do you know what I mean? It's completely contradicting everything that he stands for. The guy is wishy-washy, this way, that way. Believes in black people's rights, but again, he don't believe that women should be able to shower with just women. I don't think any woman should be excluded <laughs> from any female space. Right, but you don't mind biological males identifying as women. I don't think any woman should be excluded so from a female So a six foot, space. seven inch bearded biological male says I'm a woman, you're a happy with them going... A six foot bearded woman should not be excluded you're... from a female space. Right, so you think all trans women are women? I do believe all trans women are women. Are yes. all people Why are you put, trying to trick are all me people I've made my point very clear. Are all people who put their hand up and say, I'm a woman, a woman? If you... If you, are they? if you officially are a woman on your passport yeah. or your birth certificate, you are a woman. That's my, here's all my question. My question That's is, my answer, Piers. I'm any, not giving you a different answer. Is anybody who puts their hand up and says, I'm a woman, Trans a woman? Trans women are women. No, no, it wasn't my question. Identify is women, anyone yes. who identifies as a woman yes, a woman? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so you can identify as anything but you want. But do you know how difficult it is to get to the point where you identify okay. as a woman? Okay. Or how difficult it is to I am identifying... legally identify Wait a minute. Do you know let's, how difficult let's, that is? Let's test your <laughs> theory. You know Wait a minute. Let's test your theory. I am a woman. He just said Here's, legally. You're being an idiot. You am I a woman? Of course you're not a woman. Ah. You're not a, you know you're not a woman. So everybody who identifies as a woman is not a woman. But you're simplifying something so not complicated. A woman. It's so Say spaces. Say spaces for people like Gahindi. Do you believe in a safe space, like you in a safe safe space, space for women or not? Safe spaces for gay people right, like I'm, James Barr. Honestly, I'm sorry. No safe spaces <laughs> for women. Yes, safe spaces no, for women. No, no, actually, no. Piers, do you believe in a safe space no for women? No safe spaces for women. Do you women? believe in a safe space for women? Trans women you, are trans women. Do you believe in a safe and space for biological women? Biological females should be protected do you believe and have their in own safe, safe spaces. space for women or huh? not? Do you believe in a safe space for women? I don't women? think trans women are women. I've not asked you They're that. Trans I've asked women. you if you think women's spaces should be safe for women. Women your answer should be given is, safe spaces for biological males. So if your yes, answer I is a woman's space really. should be safe for women, your answer is that. A black space should be safe for black people. No, because no, there's no fear for black people. No, okay. it's ridiculous. Well, it's, fear, it's not about fear. Like, when we say safe space, it's, I don't think we it's not about. Yeah. Okay. Amala, jump in, please. You're the only voice in yes. come. It's totally different. <laughs> totally different. The guy's like saying, well, yeah, we believe in safe space for women, so don't think it's safe for black people. Uh, let me think. Seeing as a woman from a man is the opposite sex, and women can be in danger of being assaulted in locker rooms and all sorts like that. And, and, and as rule of thumb, they are, you know, weaker than men, especially the strongest of men. Uh, to black people mixing white people. It's totally different. Totally different. <laughs> Let's explain why this is the case and why Pierce might believe that there should be safe spaces for women. Men function at a biological advantage over women. They can harm women. But women become victims. This is why trans women, who are AKA biological men, cannot be allowed into women's spaces. There is an actual, distinct, studyable biological advantage. Is there a biological advantage that white people have over black people? Absolutely not. And this invisible pri privilege that we seem to give to them does in fact not exist. That is why there are well, safe spaces for women and you, not safe Marie. spaces the for safe, black thank people. Thank you, Marie, that is Amala, ludicrous. Safe nonsense. spaces for women is not about physical attack either. Sometimes it is. Actually, it it's is. It's not all about physical Actually, attack. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's not about physical it attack. absolutely we've is. Literally had, had, you want to have a women's we've literally reading group, had, it's not just about physical attack. The first, it's about more than that. Right, the first minister... Of, that is ridiculous. The first minister of Scotland, the first minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, literally lost her job because she allowed a biological male rapist to identify as a woman and put them into a female prison. Well, no, they I don't could, think a prison well, can do that. Honestly, this is <laughs> thinking right-wing hypocrisy. It's because not right-wing. Yes, I'm is. not right-wing. On one no. hand, you're saying a safe space should exist for women, but only if they feel threatened by someone that is no. bigger than them. And then on the other hand, you're no. saying, well, these are all these black people no. that are going to go to the blackout events, <laughs> who you've not asked, yeah. by the way, uh, clearly do not feel unsafe around white people. I don't know and a so single... they shouldn't have a safe I've space. Never what are you talking about? About. I've never met a single black person who says I can't go to the theatre because I worry about my safety. It's not about safety. <laughs> Nobody it's worries about, about their safety. Either. Either. It's not even about the theatre. It's about saying that. Oh, and I probably and as a you literally player, use the phrase safe space. Yeah, but safe. What does safe mean? So safe. Let me give you an example. What does it right? mean? I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. What I thought it meant safe. I'll tell you right now. There are certain stereotypes attached to me as a black man that I have to deal with in all white places all yeah. the time. Go all on. the time. I walk in my university and people I know don't look at me because they're afraid of me. Oh, oh, no. It's true, 100%. Come on, rubbish. 
Bro, you don't look scary in the slightest. There's no way that people don't look at you because they're afraid of you. <laughs> oh, my days. Bro, you are absolutely chatting. You need to put that away. Rubbish. And I promise you, I've been in two positions. No, you can't say it. His experience is rubbish. It's the truth. It's in the book. Let me get this straight. You go to your university and people who know you are terrified of you. Because they don't look at me. see a black man walking down and will look down. If I'd watch you on TV, I'd probably give you a swerve too. To do with your skin colour. When I go into these theatres, and I go into these white theatres, you do have to act differently. You do have to You have to be different because you can't... No, that's not... That is... I'm sorry. We literally had somebody call the police on a black man because... That's like me saying when I go to a Beyonce concert, yeah, I feel terrified because there are too many black people. The idea that white people cannot harm black people is frankly it's, ludicrous. Yeah, we see it, it happen all the time. It's right, insane that you're top of the food chain, like as a white straight guy, and you cannot, you can't accept that. Top of the food chain. Yeah, so you, you have mean, all the privilege, all the power. Literally, literally middle-aged white around. men are yes. the most oppressed oh, people oh, in society. God. How much money are you making from this? We are literally <laughs> the most oppressed how people how many in society in the world. Is that paid? We are we are actually an endangered species. Yeah. I have to agree with Piers and the other the, the lady on the show as well I forgot her name but oh that was crazy that was fun to watch you know I, I, what is going on with the world I mean these are just my opinions but I would I would bring my children up to think how I think I would never ever bring my kids up to ever think that you know that you can't do this or you can't do that because the colour of your skin or whatever or or just or or, or just even think that the just to even try and convince them that, you know, it's a we can't go on that night there because it's a black space or whatever or you know, how does that how does that land on people like me as well that are sort of like mixed between white and black? Does that mean I can have like one foot and one arm through the door? and then maybe not rest at body or maybe pop my head through a window to watch a little bit. It's rubbish, absolutely rubbish. And I think that toxic speech like that just pisses everybody off, especially the white people. It'll piss them off. It's pissing me off because black people don't want to use use all that bull crap as a crutch. We just want to get on with our lives and become the best version of ourselves, not using anything as an excuse. And that's the way that I will continue to live my life. So yeah, so guys, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate that. If you did, wow, congratulations and thank you very much. That were a long one. You know, please subscribe to my channel if you can. The Straight Talk Podcast, really appreciate that. And for now, I'll see you later.